Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Let's go ahead and make a Ziploc bag solar ignition today. And I'm going to use this water to turn this bag into a solar lens. And I want to show you how to do that. You fill the bag halfway full of water. Take one corner or the other, we'll take this corner and start to zip up the bag oh, about halfway. Now, you know, holding the bag on a diamond like this, we want to expel as much of that air as possible, so we'll have to lose some of the water to do that. But just sort of start gathering up the corners and bring, it, bring all the corners over to this corner expelling air as you go. Then we'll twist it off good and tight. And at this point, since I'm going to be using charred punk wood to ignite, I want to dry my hands off. So I'm going to dry everything off. And you can go ahead and lay this, once you get it sort of twisted up good and tight like that, you can lay it down and it will not come open. I don't want to get it dirty though, you know it. I want that bag to stay good and clean so it'll be good and clear. And I know you can hear that constant wind. We got like five to 10 mile an hour wind blowing all the time as usual. So I want to pick out a thicker piece of charred punk wood. Now, let's see. Squeeze it back, make it tight again. And it's got a pinhole that's spraying out right here. Let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and do it in spite of that. You want to squeeze it into a tomato shape. And the photons will be coming down through this round, go through about two and a half inches of water and come out this round on the back side have to find the focal point on your finger first because you need to rotate this solar lens one way or the other until you find as hot of a focal point as you can find. That is plenty hot enough to ignite it. All right, the focal point just got very, very bright because it is reflecting off of that ash. And I know you can't see it because the sun is so bright. So it's ready to go into our loblolly pine needles. Let's just let the wind bring it to flames as we usually do when it's this windy. That is a great solar igniter, and it's rather easy to do. I wish somebody out there would go ahead and give it a try and get back with me and let me know how it went for you. And there's the flames.
All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave the channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and in the drop-down list, select all. And do give me a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.